Authority is Vedic literature. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you will find Bhagavad Gita. You have seen our book, Bhagavad Gita? Yeah, yeah we, we have it at the office. There, there, there are descriptions. There are description of these things. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is there is description of another nature which is called spiritual nature. This is material nature. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, 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 the sky, as far as you can see, this is one universe. Similarly, there are millions of universes, and all these together, that, co- uh, that is material sky. Beyond that, there is spiritual sky, which is far, far greater than this. And there are spiritual planets. So this information we have got from Bhagavad-gītā. Mm-hmm. Uh, what to speak of other basic literature? Bhagavad Gita, it is daily read by practically all over the world, but they do not understand it. They simply uh, become student of Bhagavad Gita or simply just to think falsely that I am God, therefore. But they don't take any uh, particular information. There is a verse in the eighth chapter, Parastasmat Bhavanya Bhaktya Bhaktya Atanasana. There is another nature beyond this material nature, which is eternal. This nature is uh, coming into existence, again, uh, dissolution, dissolution. But that nature is eternal. These things are there. Similarly, their planets are also eternal. They are living entities, they are also eternal. That is called sanātana. Sanātana means eternal without any end, without any beginning. But uh, this nature, as we have, this body has got a beginning and it has end. Similarly, anything, this cosmic nature has a beginning and it has an end. So our, this Krishna consciousness movement is how to transfer ourselves to that nature, eternal nature. That's man's quest. Yes. That is the quest. Everyone is trying to be happy because that is every living entity is prerogative. He is by nature to become happy. But he does not know where to become happy. He is trying to become happy where four things are, uh, <coughs> miserable conditions are there. Namely, birth, death, disease, and old age. There are so many scientists that are trying to become happy, to make people happy, but which scientist has uh, tried uh, to stop death, to stop old age, to stop disease? Has any scientist tried? Uh, so what is this? Uh, why do they not take consideration that we are making so much improvement? What improvement we have done about these four things? Uh, they are not. And still they are very much proud, advanced in education, science. But the four primary miserable conditions, they remain as they are. Okay. There may be advancement in medical science, but there is no medicine which can clear. No more disease. Come on. Is there any medicine? Say, so what is that? I don't. Rather, disease has increased in different forms. They, they have invented a nuclear weapon. What is that? To kill. Well, have you invented something so that no more man will die? Well, that is crazy. The man is dying every moment. So he has invented something to accelerate that death. That's all. Is that very, very good credit? 
So there is no solution of that. There is no... They are trying to oh, stop the, <coughs> I mean, say, overpopulation. But where is the solution? Every minute there are three percent increase. That is the statistic. So there is no solution for birth, there is no solution for death, there is no solution for disease, and there is no solution for old age. Uh, there was a great scientist, uh, Professor Einstein, uh, he also died in old age. Why did he not stop to check old age? Everyone is trying to remain youthful. Uh, where is that process? So they do not care how to solve this, because this is beyond their means. They are giving something blah, that's all. They do not care what is the real problem and how to solve it. They do not care about it. And here is a movement, Krishna Consciousness movement. There is a real solution of all problems, if people take it seriously, yes. And the whole thing is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Let them uh, try to understand it. At least make an experiment. Why they have so much color and in going in their own way. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. 